Hey, welcome back to another video on our CRUD application. In this video, I'm going to implement the delete button. So if I choose delete here, instead of getting an error, it will automatically delete one of the records from our database. So how are we going to make delete happen? Well, let's take a look at what the URL is expecting. So we are seeing delete as the action and then the ID number following it. So we can probably implement that in the controller. So let's go take a look at our controller and let's see if we can make that happen. So very similar to edit, I would say. So let's copy and paste edit and we're going to change that into a delete command. So delete and we are expecting to delete uh, an ID number. So when we come to the middle here, we're going to do some processing in the database. And then when we're done, instead of showing the uh, gadget form, I want to show the entire index again. So let's show the entire list. So we have to create a list and then send it. So first of all, what are we going to do with our gadget DAO? We are going to call the delete command. And then we're going to send it uh, the value of ID. Something like that. So then after we accomplish the delete, then we're going to call the uh, fetch all command and we will save that into a variable called gadgets and then we will send gadgets to the index. So we should redisplay the entire list. Now obviously delete doesn't work here yet, so let's go and see what we can do to fix that. So if I choose show potential fixes and uh, we can generate the method and it should show up in the DAO. Let's go see if it's there. So the DAO somewhere is supposed to have a delete command. So right at the beginning, it looks like uh, delete showed up here. So that's, that's the command. Now, delete is probably similar to um, one of the uh, others. So I'm going to come down here and from the creator update, I'm going to borrow some of the code here. And I think we can probably get by with some samples that we've got there. So let's see. Let's go and replace the not implemented stuff. And let's fix it up. Okay, so we're here, delete. We're expecting to get an integer, and then we're going to select somebody. So, uh, let's see, let's get the uh, if statement out of there. We're not going to need that. And let's see, that's all gone. And let's just make a straight query string. So there we go, back to insert. So instead of delete or insert, we're going to choose delete from... Uh, the gadgets, and instead of making the mistake like I did last time and deleting everything, I want to do a WHERE statement. So let's make it capital there. WHERE the uh, ID equals the parameter ID. And then uh, we don't really have to uh, change any of these things, so I'm just going to delete those. We're going to execute it, and uh, what happens here? Return. So I believe then what we can return then is a number. And so let's change this to an integer as a return type. Now, when execute non-query happens, we would not interpret this value as a new ID, but this would probably be the deleted ID. So let's say we'll call it deleted ID, just so that the uh, code makes sense here. So we're going to return the value in case someone wanted to know what was deleted. So I think delete from gadgets where ID equals ID. So we should put in there the uh, at symbol and then a capital ID to match down here. So this matches that. And what is wrong here? So gadget model ID doesn't seem to be the right one. What do we expect there? We have a property called ID is the parameterized here. And so that should match here. Okay, it appears that all of the errors have cleared up. Now I wonder if that'll work. I've got a pretty good feeling about this one, just looking at the simpleness of the query. There's not a whole lot to do. So let's, uh, let's check it out. Let's see if it'll run. All right, here's the moment of truth. I'm going to do show gadgets. And let's delete somebody. Let's delete the Geiger counter. So I'll choose the delete button. And sure enough, it deleted it. And then we start now with cigarettes with cyanide. Let's delete that one. And now we're back to dragon tank. So it appears that the delete is doing its job. Right, so the next one that I'd like to implement is a search box. So that way we can eliminate, eliminate some of the searches. We don't have to see the entire list. We can search and find them. 
So that's going to take a little bit more SQL statements to make that work. But we'll do that in the next video.